morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm highly honored for the opportunity given me to outline uh, some challenges associated with reforestation in Ghana in most tropical West African countries. One key challenge is the source collect disease and the transfer zones that has been established. Most often than not, especially in West Africa or in African countries like Ghana, we have not delineated the sea transfer zones, verified, and which is providing a key starting point to collect seeds for our restoration activities. Inappropriate collection of seeds also poses a threat or a problem raising them at the nursery. And in the nutshell, it renders our nursery activities a failure. We are privileged to have a, a farmer who is into tree nursery and therefore we would like to know from him own experiences in relation to challenges in raising trees for restoration. Uh, the trees all the time and then a trees cease. Uh, I will go to the Boku, my friend is there, to give me more than 2,000. I'm come and nursery because 2,000 I will get more than 20, 26 or 28. That one I didn't know. To add to what Mr. Obuasi just said, there are a lot of challenges associated with raising most local species at the nursery. And it is not him alone experiencing such challenges. Most of the local species are very difficult raising them at the nursery. As you heard from him, he took delivery of about 2,000 seeds and only had 27 seedlings out of that. And if you look at the situation, attention and research need to be done to enhance or uh, come out with modalities as to how we can raise more local species for forest landscape restoration. Another challenge in restoring a degraded site in the rainforest zone of Ghana is how to control the risk, especially when existing ecosystem has crossed the threshold, a novel or different ecosystem has developed. It is quite difficult because the rate of growth of weeds like elephant grass or that mostly take over a highly degraded area in the rainforest is very difficult to control in restoration activities. Another challenge in addition to weed control is inappropriate matching of species to site. Most species will not be able to do well when you don't work on how to match them to the appropriate site. And this bottleneck can be overcome when there's a laid down principle on how to match species to site or resorting to any other scientific institution who has worked on such study. Most of our dry land areas are degraded and the ability to or restore the area back existing condition has a lot of challenges. Animals easily damage the trees planted. There is a cost associated with providing fencing and security for the planted city. In addition to this, the dry land areas in Ghana is associated with long drought period of nine months and three months raining period. And even within the three months raining period, uh, we have a raining season drought. This is a drought in between the raining season and especially after you, you have planted the seedlings out in the field and this particular kind of weather situation setting your restoration activity is likely to fail in the dry land areas there are enormous challenges bedeviling our quest to restore the site 